Hey, whoa there, Samuel. Is the fuss and bustle around town true? You beat Fallout 3 on either the Xbox 360 or PC version? Well, are you ready for the expansion set for Operation Ungridge? Before you, before you buy it, here's Samuel's tips on... Is Operation Ungridge right for you? So, is Fallout 3 worth it to you? Now, I'm going to review the DLCs all this way. The rating scale goes as such. It's either a buy, avoid, or fanboys only. Because, you know, no matter how, like some games, no matter how much, you know, of a ripoff it is, fanboys will love it. Like fanboys of the game. And, um, let's just get started with Project Anchorage. Now, one thing I don't like about Project Anchorage is that it adds that little tiny loading section. I know it's just a minor annoyance, but that's about it. Now, let's, since I've, we've already all seen Project Anchorage and know that it's about a one to two hour experience. Now, that's the main problem with, you know, Operation Anchorage. It's about one or two hours. What is the benefits to Operation Anchorage? Now, I will show you the benefits for, I love, I actually like Operation Anchorage quite a lot. And uh, one of the rewards is this sweet gun here. It's called the Goss Rifle. And uh, you can only, you can not only can you reload Wow, you know, having the scope on. See, it's reloading for me. But it does major damage. This is on my girl character that I'm raising to be good. Ah, I missed. What an idiot am I. So not only does it do, do like major damage, but you know, you can, you can reload while scoped. And as you can see, I have the new winterized armor. Now, for those of you who are major Fallout fans like me, this is the armor from Fallout 1 that the Brotherhood of Steel people wore. But except it's winterized. So, yeah. Overall, what the armor does... Let me go to the armor section here. As you can see, winterized T-51B arm, power armor. It has a value of 999 bottle caps. Not only that, but it's, a, it's plus 25 resistance to radiation. And its helmet is worth 120 bottle caps. And it has plus 8 so radiation resistance, plus 1 charisma. Not only that, but I also have the Chinese stealth armor. Now what the Chinese stealth armor does is that it adds a little extra oomph to your you know, sneaking abilities. So if you're a major sneaker, as you see, you can't see me. It's firing the wrong way. Took him out. So yeah. Now, let me just get out of this freaking stealth boy crap, because I hate that menu it's like that. So yeah, that's the Chinese stealth armor. Now you also get another weapon. You get G... I can't even, Jingwei's Shock Sword. Now, this is a very, very powerful weapon. It does 24 damage, but the cost of this is that it lowers two of your, you know, HP. So, although it may be nice, it does hurt you as well as you hurting the people. See? See how I just sliced open that super mutant, no problem? And this isn't very easy either. It's hard. So, basically, you can tell how powerful this sword is. Especially on lower difficulties. So yeah, the Gauss Rifle, which does 65 damage, it uses MF cells, you know, the same stuff that laser rifles and plasma rifles use. It's also repaired using laser and plasma rifles. So it's a very, very powerful, amazing weapon. And yeah, these are the benefits of the Fallout 3 Operation Anchorage. Not to mention, you also get a spiffy 100 achievement points for beating it. As you can see right here, Operation Anchorage is worth 40, Paving the Way is worth 20, the Guns of Anchorage is worth 20, and Aiding the Outcast is also worth 20. So that overall, it's pretty much worth it if you are a major fan of the game. 
because these weapons will majorly help you in the Pittsburgh expansion coming on later this February month. But if you're not a fanboy like me, like I'm a huge fan of this game. I really like the new weapons. I think they're amazing. I totally thought it was worth ten dollars. Then buy the you know expansion. But if you are not a major fan of the game, you will be disappointed on how short it is, and you might not even care for about the rewards. So I'd say this is a fanboys only game. If you really are into the game like me completely buy it. But if you're just casually playing the game, don't buy it. Sound out.